Yeah, it's crazy. Alright, all done. Good man, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Touch down Liverpool. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. Walking, I walk to the shop, I bought the take it steady. Who's that there? Full fiction? You into your films? Yeah, I've not seen it. You know it, man. It's all that, innit? Instagram. <laughs> I think I've always liked clothes and wearing different things mm -hmm. and then for me it's just a, another way of expressing yourself and I just like to have that sort of freedom and to see clothes and see them in different ways. When I'm thinking about me shopping and, and things I'm buying I'm, I'm always thinking a lot more consciously towards the environment now because okay. I, I think it's a big thing that we all have to be involved in. Would you say your style evolved like since you was a kid? Like have you always dressed yeah, like this yeah. or like <laughs> oh, have, have you had like your hype beast era? Yeah. <laughs> yeah of course I think you have to go through it. Yeah. Um, I think I was just finding where I did like and I've tried on things I never would have got my, my taste for where I like and where I like to wear. And do you think like the way that you wear your clothes and the way that you express yourself is the same way that you go to express yourself on the field? I think so, yeah. And I always remember coaches when we were younger saying go out and express yourself. Yeah. Because everyone in football has their own individual style. I think one thing that stands out for me with you is that you care about the people. You're doing a lot of stuff in the community. Living in the city, I do see a lot of homeless people. Mm -hmm. There's a local group that go out on Wednesday nights and they, they provide support. I met the woman that runs there and I, I just I just wanted to go down to be a part of it, be part of my city to understand how it runs and maybe just small changes, but I think with the small changes come, come big results. <laughs> Not many people, when they come to Liverpool, come like around this area. Well, we're still close yeah. to the centre as well, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously a bit more of a difficult season for you so far. How's the injury been like recovery? How have you been like mentally and physically? Well, yeah, obviously every player wants to play. Yeah. yeah. But I think for me it's just been an opportunity to work on different parts in the game that I wouldn't be able to, even watching a game and watching it from a, a different perspective. No, it's important in, a, in your downtime. You don't focus too much about you're not playing and you're injured and, and let yourself get down. And you, yeah. you have to keep your time busy with, for me, football, watching games. Games, going to the games. So do you think as a footballer it's important to have balance, being interested in other things, do you think that ultimately helps you perform on the pitch? I think when I've been at my best, it's been when I've not been thinking about football too much. I think it's amazing that you've got a great support network around you, but I think it's also amazing the fact that you know, you're trying to positively affect the world as well with your sustainability. What sort of stuff have you been working alongside your brother with over the past year while you've been injured? So the project, it's called Chop Value. We work with Asian Chinese restaurants. We collect the, the chopsticks that they use. There's thousands that go to waste every day that we're trying to collect, save on to landfill and then make them to homeware, chairs, tables. It's not something that I'd actually think about. Yeah, I, I think I was the same when I heard about it. Tom Davis becomes the club's youngest ever captain. What could football do better to be more involved in sustainability? There's obviously a lot of progress to go in the Premier League, even at Everton at the training ground. The plants and trees, the recycled rainwater, we're trying to go plastic free. We have a bit of a nature reserve at the training ground too, we have a lake, we have swans there sometimes, we have different birds, our waste food goes into compost and I think just general things, it, it, it takes a bit of time to sit down and think where can we improve. And does it feel good to be involved in the meetings at Everton and talking about how you can improve things around the training ground and ultimately? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think going forward there's, there's more meetings that I need to, to be a part of. You know, I'm always trying to learn, I'm always trying to, to understand things. These things aren't just a football issue. What drives you to want to like, make a change? I think I'm, I really do love like nature. I love the world that we live in, so I want to protect it. I feel like we're, on, we're only here for a short time, so I don't want to leave the world a worse place than, yeah, than where I'm coming to it, really. Right, let's...